Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today's video is going to be a showcase of what I received in my starter kit when I joined Stampin' Up! Now the cool thing with Stampin' Up! is it costs $99 to join but you get to pick out $125 worth of items. So that is their basic standard joining. Sometimes there's other perks included in it. In fact, when I joined during celebration, I did receive a free item. That is the glass mat at the bottom and I'm really excited to show you guys that as well. So everyone, when they join, again, this is U.S. pricing because I'm located here in the U.S., it's $99, but you get to pick out $125, and you get to pick out items that are either online or in either of the current catalogs if there's more than one catalog available at the time. So when everyone joins, doesn't matter what time of year you join, you do get these really cute little invite postcards. You get a few of the catalogs, so if it's just the annual, you'll get the annual, but I also got the mini catalog because I joined at the end of February, so this one's still good till April. And then you get some information on the company and some envelopes that you can use to kind of mail out some catalogs or other goodies to customers or hostesses. And everyone gets a paper pumpkin. So this one is from, let's see here, December of 2023. So everyone who joins, whenever they join, they get a retired paper pumpkin. And this is just fun, crafty, paper crafting joy in a box. So this one I'm excited to put together. But I'm going to quickly show you what actually comes in one of them. So this was January's of this year called Lovely Lavender. And you're going to make cards and tags. So every month they're different. Sometimes it's cards. Sometimes it's tags. Sometimes it's little boxes or other paper crafting goodies. But what I really like about it is the instructions are in full color. And absolutely everything is included in that box. And you can either subscribe to it for yourself or you can gift it. So I just think that's a really fun perk that they they have on top of all of the other awesome items that they sell either online or in their catalog. So I did go very basic with what I picked out just because I kind of wanted to, I'm starting over here with this company, so I wanted to make sure I had their fundamental items, some of them, and then I also wanted to compare it to close to my heart. So I'm actually going to put the paper to the side and show you the stamp pads. So these are stamping up stamp pads. So for anyone who is familiar with Close to My Hearts, Close to My Hearts look like this. Close to My Hearts are magnetic and just open like this. And Stamping Ups are definitely different, but just to kind of compare this upgrade compared to their older ones. So this is their older stamp pad. It's kind of bulky. It doesn't lie flat. It's got this ridge right here. So you don't stack them as well as these. These are flat. So you can easily stack them right on top of each other. So right there, I really like that upgrade. And then to open them, there is this little lip right here. So I just kind of push forward and then pop this open. It turns over and then goes right into itself flat. So that part I do like. And again, when you set it down, it is nice and flat. So you just flip it over and just like that. So it actually is really easy. It's much easier than their other ones to open. So this is definitely an upgrade compared to what they used to carry. And again, they're nice and stackable. So I got a few colors to start with some Easter cards. So I got some Easter colors and then I got pecan pie because I'm going to be doing a coffee card as soon as my next shipment comes in as well. Then I got their foam brushes or their blender brushes and these are super nice soft bristles very similar to close to my hearts so this is close to my hearts version same thing this is the smaller version stamping up does sell them in two different sizes so this is the smaller this is what close to my heart carries carried as their large size but stampin ups large is the same size as this one then i got their paper snips Good basic tool to have on hand. Everyone's going to need something to cut with. This is close to my heart, so just for kind of a comparison on these two. This one's definitely heavier now that I can feel that in my hands. It's definitely a different design. I did get some of their iridescent, let's see here, it's iridescent pearls, which these are just really pretty, and I'll go and take them out of the package as well. This is for an Easter card I plan on making. 
So this is just really cute. Adhesive back, perfect. Don't have to worry about glue. I did get Stampin' Up's new glue. So this is their basic tape runner. So they have Stampin' Seal and then they have Stampin' Seal Plus, which is their stronger adhesive. And just kind of comparing that to what Close to My Heart's adhesive looked like. So with the cardstock, Stampin' Up! does what I'm going to call color families. I think they just call them, they may call them something else, but I'm just going to call them color families. And in these, you can get the subtles, the brights, the regals, and the neutrals. And then, of course, they have basic white, black, and vanilla. Now, with Stampin' Up!'s cardstock, it is sold in the color family. So you cannot buy just one color individually with the exception of vanilla and white. And that is in the 12 by 12. So you can buy individual colors like right here. So they have like their, their color family or their color collections the brights, neutrals, regals, and subtles. So you can buy them in their combo pack and you can buy them in a combo back pack of 12 by 12. But the only ones that are available for single colors are their very vanilla and basic white. And that's just in the 12 by 12. You can obviously get the eight and a half by 11 in the very vanilla, basic white, basic black, and all the other colors individually. But let's say you were creating a project as a scrapbooker and you needed Night of Navy. You can't just buy a pack of just Night of Navy. So I'm hoping that is something that they will definitely change, especially with more close to my heart makers joining and becoming demonstrators. Because that would just be so awesome if they did that because it'll definitely help with our scrapbooking needs. But what I do really like about Stamping Up's paper or at least cardstock because their beautiful colored DSP is gorgeous as well. But their card cardstock is solid through the core, so it's not white core. They do have some specialty paper that is white core. However, this is much thicker than Close to My Hearts as well. So this is definitely a higher grade or a higher weight of paper. So just kind of thumbing through these real quick and I will go over these and kind of compare them to some similar close to my heart colors. So for all of us that are very sad and going to be missing our close to my heart colors, there are some that are very similar that I think can still be used on projects. And then the basic white, which I always like getting the white in the eight and a half by 11, because if you cut it in half and then fold it, you got yourself an A2 size card, which is the vast majority of the cards that I create. So this, was the super fun part about joining in Jan or not January, joining in February during their celebration. I saw this and absolutely fell in love with it. What I like about this glass mat is it is very sturdy. It's bigger than just a 12 by 12 surface. In fact, this part right here is 13 by 13. So again, perfect for scrapbooking. It'll fit the entire page. Plus you'll have some room over here if you wanna put some ink on here or if you wanna put some shimmer on there, you can just put it right here on the glass. Use your, or you know, decorate your, your 12 by 12 page and then it easily cleans up. So it came with this right here, which this awesome mat is great because it won't move at all. No matter where I put it on here, it won't move. What I also like about this is the little stampin' spots fit right in here. And then if you wanted to do some ink splattering, you could easily put some ink right in here and it's right in that little well. And it still has plenty of room for you to work on your card. And then here is just the chamois that came with it. it. Works like any other chamois. You get it wet and you're able to clean off the surface and you could even clean off your stamps as well. So this is what I got in my starter kit and I am super excited to dive in to get the other order that I've made just to dive in and get creating again. So I hope you guys are just as excited as I am for this new journey. 
Happy crafting and see you all next time.